Hi, and welcome to episode six of Two Crafty Stitches. My name is Sandy, also known as Knits and Bits. And I'm Kelly, also known as Pearly Girl 75. Um, it's been two weeks, and Kelly has a lot of new items. I'm going to start off with yes, start I do not have anything, so. I have a lot of new stuff. I don't know why. It's going to be the Kelly show today. Oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just so, sit here and knit. Okay, you do that. Oh, I will not knit then. <laughs> so. So I bought some fabric this week. Um, I bought some from Etsy because last time, oh, this could have been one of our cliffhangers that we forgot to put down, but I don't think it really was. Um, when I was talking about Daredevil, because it always comes back to Daredevil. Um, <laughs> yes. yeah, we, and you were saying that I should get some Daredevil fabric, and I was like, well, they don't have Daredevil fabric. So I went on a massive like interwebs search for some Daredevil fabric, and I didn't find any. Well, I did. I found some on Spoonflower, but I didn't like it. Um, because it said, like, DD and whatever, and had, like, for Daredevil, and had, like, him in the yellow costume and him in the red costume, and it was a little cartoony. So I found some other fabric that has him on it, so I figured this would be as good, because it's red. Um, and I'm holding it upside down, because that's how I'm rolling today. It was right side up for me. Well, yeah, but yeah. on the camera. See? And uh, I thought I saw Captain America. It does. It has Captain America. I do like and it has Thor Iron Man. and Iron Man, and um, I don't know who that is. I was about to say I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is either. Anyway, maybe people, maybe our viewers could tell us who those two people are. Um, <laughs> anyway, but it has Daredevil on it, so I went is ahead. One of them, Ant Man? No, I don't think that's Ant Man. Um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe is that like is there a Hawk Man? Maybe. I, I don't know. Um, anyway, so <laughs> stuff I should have researched beforehand because I, I, I was concerned with it having Daredevil on it, and it does. So I bought a yard um, from Etsy because that's where I found it. And so it came, and I guess I'll make something with it. You make something awesome. What do you have in mind to make with it? Um, like a project bag for knitting. <laughs> Perfect. And I have a yard, so who knows? Like, maybe I'll make two project bags. Two different sizes, I don't know. But I found some fabric at Joann's, because I went there the other day. And if you're at Joann Fabrics, and um, you're at the cutting counter, and they ever ask you, hey, have you signed up for text messages type stuff for dis for discounts? And you say no, like, t ask them how. Because <laughs> I was like, no, I have not done that, because I get, like, the mailing discounts, because I had a coupon. And they said, oh, well, if you just text to, and they gave me some number and some code or whatever, and they sent me on my phone a 20% off total purchase, including um, sale private, sale items. What? Yeah, and it was a link that I clicked in my phone, clicked on the link, and it brought up a barcode, and so when I went to go pay, I showed them that, and they scanned it, and I got 20% off my whole purchase. So. That is pretty awesome. I know. Um, and now every once in a while I get a little text that's like, hey, for today and tomorrow, here's a coupon for like 50% off something or whatever. Um, so yeah, you need to sign up for that next time you go. Anyway, so I was looking, I was looking for fabrics and I found this, which is like just generic comic book fabric that I'm going to line my project bag with. I was about to say, with. you didn't say anything about that. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, well, it's, yeah, it's just going to be the lining. It's just, it's very generic. It was back with like where they have all of the Marvel comic book fabric and like the Doctor Who and the Hello Kitty and whatever. Um, but this is just like your generic comic book. So I thought, well, that could be a lining for inside of this. So why not? <laughs> Plus it was 20% off. Yeah. Um, and then I picked up, and I only have one of the Doctor Who fabrics that with me, because the other one is somewhere else in the room. Um, my Doctor Who fabric. That would be the one that I'm going to show right now, which, haha. <laughs> so I could have put that as your new item. But <laughs> this is Sandy's newly acquired item. Um, I bought myself a yard as well. And this is um, more of the Doctor Who fabric, which they had five different Doctor Who fabrics because they had the TARDIS, they had the M.I. My Joann's finally because they haven't had any of it forever. I think they've been selling out quickly because well, My Joann's was saying that. Well, I have never even seen it. They had no idea what I was talking about when I've asked for it there. So maybe yeah, they just Yeah, only one of the ladies knew yeah. at mine. And they, and, had, yeah. they had this one. And they had two or three bolts of each of these at my joints. I think they've just been hoarding it in the back, and then all of a sudden we're like, oh, let's put it all out now, you know, since people have been asking for it. I don't know. Um, they had, like, a, a black one that just has, like, the logo on it, um, which is the other one that I got. And 
They had the Van Gogh one, the Tardis one, and the one with the Daleks on it. So you gave me the Daleks and, and the, the Tardis one. And the blue one with the yeah, police box. The Tardis one. Okay. Yeah. Wasn't there another one? <laughs> I don't think so. That's what they had in mind. They, but the, the, the Tardis one, they had like three bolts of it in my store. And they had two awesome. bolts of the Dalek one. They had two bolts of the Van Gogh one. They had, I think, they had a bolt of this and um, the other... The other sage had one bolt, but it... Anyway, so that's yours. Awesome. <laughs> the elite. And it was 20% off with Sweet. my coupon. So. Now I just need yeah. to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Yes. I'm going to make something. Um, so, really? I think you might want to sew item. something. Yes. Sandy's new item. <laughs> and I have one of those, too. So, I also, um, a while ago, I don't know, several months ago, did a Kickstarter. And, um... And I didn't tell you about this, I don't think. But anyway, there's there's a deaf lady who wrote a children's book based on her two daughters. And she had a Kickstarter, and if you gave her money, you know, to get her up and running with her book or whatever, she sent you a copy of the book. So here it is. And it is Shay and Ivy, Beyond the Kingdom, by Sheena McFeely. And then this person over here is the... Casey Trace is the person who did the artwork. I was going to say, it's on the back, too. I know, it's so cute. It really and, is. And then she also, you got, like, a little postcard where the little girls, it looks like, are probably signing thank you. Um, and I say that because it's, like, just a drawing, so it's kind of hard to tell. But <laughs> but anyway, it's a cute little story, um, you know, and, and it's, it's like a girl empowering type story because it's like, you know, these girls, they're playing princess and blah, 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 and they're like, but I want to be more than a princess when I grow up. And they talk about all the different types of things that they can be. And I just thought it was cool. And I also, um, this is one of the things I liked that the, the mother, I'm not sure, I think possibly little girls are deaf also, but, um, but they didn't make it all about, like, a lot of times children's books, if they have, like, a deaf character, it's all about they're deaf and they're different and blah, 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 and it's like, let's teach you some sign language. And in this book, what I liked is that they don't even really mention it. It's just there. Like, like there's the mom. And they're talking about the dad, and so the mom is signing father. But it's not like, oh, you know, <laughs> this is the sign for father, which I think takes away from the books somewhat. I think, like, if if they want to, you know, teach children sign language or something, there are videos and there are books specifically for that. But I think it was really cool that, like, especially because the lady who wrote the book is deaf, that the mother in the book uh, is deaf, but it's not like that's not the central point of the book. The central point of the book is that girls can be anything that they want to. <laughs> That's my review. <laughs> it's kind of like, um, what was it, like back in the 80s with the Barbies that says, you can do anything. Because I have a paleontologist Barbie. Yes. And on there it says, girls can do anything. Yeah. And I think they have like a doctor. and Well, and even like ones. flipping through here again, like the father comes in and he's he's doing a sign too. But it's not like, this is a sign, you know. <laughs> He's signing special because he's saying like, "Will you two be my special princesses?" Dad asked them, you know, and okay, but it's not like he's dressed like a prince. He is because he was he had a big surprise for them. He was dressed as a prince. There we go. So, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, um, I did this and got it as a Kickstarter. I know that on her website she's actually now selling copies of the book. So if you all are interested, um, we'll post the web website in our show notes want to go out and support an independent children's book author. <laughs> now, I do like how it's, you know, more than just the princess, how the girls can yeah. be more than just what... Well, the original title of the book was going to be Shay and Ivy, More Than a Princess, but apparently there's some company out there that has that as their logo on something, and they were, like, threatening to take this lady to court, saying you can't have that. So that's why she changed it to Beyond the Kingdom. But it's, you know, the same type of thing. So, yeah, it's it's cute, you know. Like, here, the little girl, she's an astronaut. And here she, you know, they're, she's a dirt bike, she's rider. A dirt bike rider. And, yeah. you know, all that type of stuff. So, it's pretty cool. You know, let's be writers. Let's be president. So. Yeah, because that, that's the other thing that, um, you know, I like Disney movies and the stories. And mm -hmm. I know that you do, too. Yeah. But it's, like... Not all, because there's been a few that's recently come out, mm -hmm. but it's mainly um, the guy comes in and saves the girl. Right. 
and oh. crap, I just hit something. I don't know what I did. Oh, I oh, think I took so a pic- I took a picture of us. <laughs> I accidentally hit the wrong mouse and took a picture of us. So yay! Hey, and we didn't take a picture when we started. But that's going to be a really horrible picture. We're so probably like, yeah. or something. <laughs> I'm looking down, <laughs> counting, and... Yeah. yeah, I think I accidentally hit the picture button. But it's still going, so I'm assuming we're still recording. Yeah, we are. So, okay, so we have two mice. One for <laughs> this computer. And they're right next to each other yeah. on the side table. Because she needs to control the mice. So this one controls our camera uh, laptop, and then the other one has our uh, show notes on it. Yes. So... Anyway. Yeah. So, but yeah, back to the back to the book. There was even um, an interview that was done with the author, and she was talking about how everything is princess, princess, princess now. Yeah. And so, it's got a good message. Yeah, I like it. Anyway, one of my other items that I got this week, because you know, whatever, is I was when I was at Joanne's, and I was like, I have twenty percent off a title, total purchase. I can't just buy like three things of fabric. <laughs> so be a sin. I know. So I bought. I was back in the. Um, I went, I walked through the yarn, I didn't see anything, and, um, I walked through the little notions, you know, like, in the knitting notions, and they had these, which I had never seen before, which are darning needles with a latch hook eye. I'll hold them up there for you. They're made by Clover. You get two of them. Oh, that's what that was. So, and I was using one last night. Um, and it is fantastic. Like, first of all, I mean, I do have one complaint. So when I do my darning, I like to have the, the needles that have that little bend in them at the, yeah. at the point. I do I do like the bend, and I wish these had the bend in them. But I was weaving in ends on my um, Ray's Infinity scarf, my, the season-long baseball team Infinity scarf that I'm working on. So I have a lot of ends to weave in because I haven't done it in a while. And it was so easy because, like, you don't even have to, like, hold on, I'll pull one of these out because I... I basically just should. put it all the way back in so that I could easily pull it out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> here, I'll even I'll even put it up here and show you. So it's got this little thing that unhooks so that when you're threading it, you can put, like, thicker yarns in it. But what I discovered is you don't even have to unhook it or hook it back in there. I was just taking my yarn and doing this and able to just, like, slip it in there. So I was able to thread it a lot faster when I was weaving in 49,000 ends. <laughs> so I just took the, took it, kind of doubled it over and just pushed down a little and it went right under this thing. And so I didn't have to like unhook it and hook it back in. And it was very efficient. See, I thought you were getting into latch hooking. Like no, it's a that. latch hook needle. So, um, yeah, so that was my cool purchase of something that I took impulse, impulse buy that and then, of course, I had to use it last night so that I could talk about it and give a review and you all would know. Because I'd be like, I bought this cool thing. I don't know how it is. I don't um, know how it works. I, I've never it seen it. It has a hook. I haven't even opened it. Uh, <laughs> so, I thought it was pretty cool. I do think that if they came out with one that had a little bend in it, then I would like that even more. Because that's the type of needle I like to use. <laughs> I don't know. So, in other Maybe, words... Clover. Yes. You need to make one with the bend. Also, maybe a tiny bit sharper, because it's very, it is very dull. So yeah, I do like mine. Yeah, I like sharp. mine to have sharp and a and a bend. In <laughs> so. I, I can go either way with the bend. But, so yeah. Anyway, um, and I did want to talk also because I've been talking now for like almost fifteen minutes, assuming that we're still recording and it's still going. Yeah, but anyway, it's still going. We have a new logo. Um, that was designed for us from by um, a former drama student that I know who graduated a few years ago, and um, he posted something like, I'll design a logo or a banner for your website or whatever for like $5. And I was like, what? So I said, hey, can you do this for us? And he did, and it was like within a couple days, because we went back and forth for a while, you know, and he was sending me proofs, and what about this? And, oh, can, and we're like, oh, can you change this color? Can you change this font? Whatever. Um, so we have a new logo um, that we've put, like I put it on our Twitter, and I put it on, well not like, it's on it's Ravelry. like our banner for Twitter. Yeah. It's on our Ravelry group. It's it's pretty much everywhere. It's on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I had to do some resizing for that because that's the weirdest one. You want something huge. Yeah. But then when you put it in, it just like shows the, oh. yeah. It's, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to give a shout out to Zach, and we will go ahead and put um, 
his information on our website so that if you all need to get a logo or some Photoshop type work done, you can contact him. Um, can he, he do what? You can't beat the five dollars. I know. And so. he, um, you know, so he did a banner and he did a little icon logo for us. But um, we'll post a link to his little website and also to his, um, he told me I could, you know, post his email address so that you can contact him directly for any questions. So thank you very much, Zach. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and I told him we talked about him too. So. Yes. Which we did. Yes. All right. Do I have the right mouse? Yes. I okay. have no, why don't you like move one of them? Because then I'd be like, <laughs> So, why don't you talk for a few minutes, because I've been talking for quite a while. Okay, we're Because I think that was all the stuff that I got. Yes. Yeah, and no, I... it was not. I lied. What? I know. Um, <laughs> I just looked over. So, I bought, I, I went to Hot Topic. Um, <laughs> Hot Topic has lots of, like, pop culture. And I and I, pre I say that, like, shocked, because I did not know this. Because the last time I was in Hot Topic, it was, like, in the 90s or whatever or in the early 2000s and it was all like emo goth stuff so <laughs> so hot topic now has all sorts of pop culture stuff and they have exclusives and so i went and picked up my um funko pop television doctor who hot topic exclusive 10th doctor figure that's a mouthful right there but yes there you go um and so and he's got his little 3D glasses, and he's holding his little sonic screwdriver. So that was one of my other acquisitions this week that I thought was very cute. And why should I buy it yes. last week or whatever? Um, and I might have also picked up the little keychain also as well. <laughs> I did not because you did not send it in. So cute! Are you going to put that on your keys? Um, I don't know because I'd be afraid of it falling off. It probably it would. Lost, so. The dinosaur that you got me, the keychain part came off. Yeah. It was awesome. It's a flashlight. Yes. Well, it still is a flashlight. Yeah. And it roars every time you use it. Yes. So <laughs> now I'm done talking about stuff I got. Okay. If there's anything later, so, I'll add it in later. My work's in progress. Yes. Um, I have been diligently working on the Morvark shawl um, from the Celtic Cable shawl book. And... I have finished the middle piece and I'm just finishing up the last row otherwise I'm gonna like lose these last five stitches but um, there was um, four charts of cable for the middle piece and then it's surrounded by some stockinette and then ended with some lace work and so I am on the first part of the body and this is my um, owl for the Harry Potter knit and crochet um, event. So it's coming along. Um, this is my hand spun that I did. I have, I finished one ball, which I'm super happy about. And so it's expanding this way towards Kelly's face. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess it's more of a, like a stole. And then I'll come back and pick it up over on so this side. So it'll be like rectangular. Yes. When you're done. And um, as I was, uh, I think I mentioned it before, how I'm wanting to go back and knit any of my hand spun that I'm currently, or that I have already done, because the more we progress in our spinning, the more likely we're not going to use our old stuff, because from here everything was pretty much even until I got to the beginning of um, my current ball and instead of like a lace weight it was like a DK heavy weight <laughs> so I mean you can tell huge difference in that and I know if I knit this like two three years ago I'd be saying this is the best thing ever but that one little section was you were, me. You were still spinning. <laughs> I was still spinning it, probably. The five bazillion yards of gray. It, it was a lot. <laughs> um, and I think I bought that up in Jacksonville um, on a whim. Oh, the gray? Yeah, yeah the gray, because I bought you that white, too. Oh, yeah. Because it was that's all that they had, and I don't remember which store that was. I don't know. It was a while ago. 
I've been to, yes. Um, and then I did start uh, my broom project last night. Um, it is the cowl. And that's not on our list? It's not because I am <laughs> horrible. Um, but <laughs> it is part of the cliffhangers. Of course, um, as Sandy came over to my house today, I was like frantically typing stuff into our little document. So. I'm like, I really don't have anything, so I'll remember <laughs> this one thing. Um, it's made out of the Whisper Lace that I bought a while ago. And this is we were talking about yeah. last week. Of what I was wanting to make. Yes. So um, I'm just doing like a jaywalker, so zigzaggy pattern in the round. Um on size threes and I think it's coming up nice I like um I was worried if and I it tried is striping it. yeah it, it's striping yeah. a bit yeah I was worried that it might not stripe very well with the bits in between because it's kind of variegated in between the stripes mm. but did you do um are you using a pattern on that or did you just kind of so MacGyver I a pattern I started with a pattern okay and I it was with a provisional cast on. I was going to ask, did you do a provisional cast I on? I did. Okay. And I cast it on like a billion times. It was crazy. Uh, I I don't know why, but did my numbers... Did you do the, um, the provisional cast on where you used the crochet hook? and you? No, no, the cast on was fine. I was oh, getting my okay. numbers right. It was when I was like a few rows in. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't adding up, so oh. I would just rip it all out, and I did... I think in reality it was about six times I recast it on, so it was really frustrating me. And then I was doing that on circular needle needles where um, or needles, yeah, needles. <laughs> <laughs> where I hadn't used it a lot, so it was very stiff. Oh, so I just pretty much said, "Screw it, I'm going to go to BPNs." And that's why you were asking, you were saying yeah. you need to get wooden ones. Yeah, because, because it's too slippery. It's really slippery, and um, it actually one half off just now. I know, I saw. Yeah. <laughs> Literally put it back on. But, um, it took a while, and then afterwards, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna use the Jaywalker pattern, because I know that one. Mm -hmm. The other one was, I don't remember what the name was, because I didn't put that in the notes, because I'm not using it, but right. instead of doing knit front and back, um, you pick up on the right side, knit, and pick up on the other side. So, I mean, it's similar. Yeah. But. A chevron. Yeah. Of some kind. Yeah. So, um, that is all that I. I thought of something else. I'm working on. Huh. That was one of your newly acquired items is the shirt that you're wearing. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, my boyfriend got me this present and it is a new cola shirt. If you guys can see it. It's from that's Fallout. That's awkward. No, it's, it's not. not my shirt. But it's awesome. <laughs> New cola. Um, <laughs> it's uh, for Fallout 3, and this is me geeking out. Fallout 4 was just released last, what was it, Wednesday, Thursday? I don't know. I was so excited. I can't remember what day Fallout it was. is like a video game. Isn't yes, it? it's okay. a video game about a um, post-apocalyptic world. Okay. And the new one is going to be set, I believe, in Boston. Hmm. So, I'm, I'm excited. I want to get a new Xbox so I can play it. Yes. So, we'll, we'll see if that happens. Yeah. Josh is trying to convince me to go PC route. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> been resisting for so long. But see, Josh is not really a big console person. No, he's so. a big PC yeah. person. But, yep. Did you have anything else you're working on since I totally interrupted no. you with your talk of your shirt? And I'm wearing my Jurassic Park shirt. Yes. Because the movie comes out on Friday. And you're not going to lift it up. No, I'm me. not. Because that was awesome. That was kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was worth it. There we go. <laughs> um, so, nothing else that you're working on. I am working on, actually. Not actively. Right now, actively, in this second. <laughs> um... <laughs> These socks that you have seen forever. Um, but, <laughs> but, but I have one of them done. Yeah. One of them done all the way with ends woven in and everything. And on this one, I am working on the heel. So they will be done for the next time. Um, yeah, probably I don't know like today. That'll probably be done today. But 
I'm in for our next recording, but I don't know if I'm going to show them, because you probably are, like, six episodes in, finally she's finishing this pair of socks. Yes. <laughs> and you've seen the other one. Yeah, and you've seen the other one, so really, I don't know. Um, Maybe you'll wear them. No. In well, our 90-degree then, then weather. Can, in our 90-degree weather, and then I can stick my foot up on the, yeah, up in the air. <laughs> well, you can just say that you're wearing them. Oh, okay. You don't have to show it. Oh, okay. Nobody wants then to see how would, it. Then how would they know? Um... That I'm not lying about it. <laughs> Why would you lie about that? Come on. Come on, stay with so, me. So, um, that's been getting work this week. Um, on the my Miss Winkle shawl, um, I might have added another loop or two. I'm not even going to pull it out because it's the same thing. Yeah, I think it's now, like, yeah. that big. No, it's, it's a little bigger than that. Okay, so, like, that I think. big? I don't Last know. week it was like that. I don't know. Anyway, still kind of working on that. Haven't done a whole lot on it. Um... Because I was trying to desperately get more work done on these socks that I'm like, I'm only going to work on these during the podcast. And even I got tired of looking at them on the podcast when we're recording. So I thought, I have to get these done. Um, and I didn't get any work done on my spinning. I, it's been two weeks. I don't do anything, apparently. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's been the last two weeks um, of school. So I had lots of things going on after school, like functions and stuff. Um, so, oh, but I can, since it's right here, show you because I haven't shown in a while, the progress on my Ray's Infinity Scarf since I oh, talked about weaving yes. in the ends. So this is the season so far, with the exception of last night's loss is not on here. Because um, <laughs> that happened late last night. Um, so now what color is what? The, oh my god, I, I have to look it up every time I work on it. Um, these are, the, the yellow is a road win, and the blue is a road loss. And I believe the white is a home win, and the navy blue is a home loss. Okay, yeah, let's see. Am I right? Home win, navy blue. Home That's loss, nice. white. Road win, yellow. Road loss, light blue. Yep, that's what I said. Perfect. <laughs> so anyway, so that's how far it is. And all the ends have been woven in so far, up until, like, this one. So. Because I have to change to light blue because they lost. Mm. I know. It's coming so, along. So, yeah. Um, we're about... How long do you think it's going to be? It's going to be so long. Because we're about... There's 162 games, and this is probably about 50-something games. Almost 60. No, 55, 56 games. Okay, so it's going to be like three like, times that size. So that'll be yeah. okay. That'll be like a loop round. And yeah. Unless, unless we go to the postseason, which would add even more rows. <laughs> <laughs> more games. How many games would that be? I don't know, honestly, um, because it depends, because then you get into, like, are you playing, it, you know, for the wild card, or did you, like, or are you playing in the, you know, champion, whatever, the, like, the AL championships, you know, because you have to play, if you do the wild card, that adds, like, an extra however many games, and of course it's always, like, best of seven or whatever. Best of six, best of seven, best of seven. Seven. Because um, six is an even number. Yeah, so it's always, like, best of seven, so it could be, like, four games or it could be oh we played seven more games so you know it just depends and I don't you know I don't know we aren't thinking that far ahead because that's not until October we'll see so. how we're doing first we'll see how we're doing at that point we're in second yeah. place in um in our division so that's not bad yeah so as of today we're in second place <laughs> and we were in first for a little while so do you want to do your finished uh, objects um Yes. So I'm in the middle of the row. Yes. Well, I have one finished well object, um, <laughs> and it is, and I just moved both of the mice around, so, uh oh. Um, <laughs> anyway, this is, and this is something else we were talking about last week, which was my Moon Rover um, spinning that I'd been working on, the Polworth that was like random Doctor Who colorway Polworth that was sent to me free. Um, so anyway, I finished it. It was it was last week we talked about it because it was like hanging up to dry, and I have it all caked up so that I can make something with it. And I'm going to make something that Sandy has made with some of her hand spun, which would be and it's a free pattern, so I can show it. <laughs> the Daniel diagonal cowl. Yeah, I did not print it out and show it to you guys. I just linked it when I did it. Yeah, well, but. It, I thought it was great on my hand spun. Yeah, well, and I figure because this is a striping. Because um, yeah. it's Moon Rover, and so she dyes her fiber to 
you know, if you spin it and like do a chain ply that it will stripe. So um, I'll get that probably started today and have it to show you in two weeks. Yeah, as it a work was in a progress. Really, it was a quick knit. <laughs> or as a finished object. I don't yeah. know. We'll see. Depends on how much I get done on it or if I say this is going to be, or you might be seeing this for like another six episodes. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I don't have a whole lot of it though. That's why I was like, oh, that I can make it as long until I run out. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, just remember there's like little setup row. Yeah. Because when I did it, I did the setup row and then everything. I'm like, yes, I'm done. I can just put it together. And I didn't have the pattern in front of me. Mm -hmm. Like, this isn't working. Because there's a finishing row oh, that yeah. kind of even that just like the skew socks. Yeah. And I didn't think that far ahead. So I <laughs> could not finish it that night at two in the morning. Ah. I had to rip out a whole bunch. Yeah. But we're not talking about that. Okay. Okay, so I have a finished object. I know everybody needs to be in shock and awe because <laughs> I feel like I haven't really done much. But I finished the Kelly's shrug. shrug. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and it is huge. But it fits very well. Mm -hmm. But let's see if I can put it on. Well, you've already pulled your shirt up. So. I know. <laughs> the more awkward can I get? I was going to say, so. and if someone just tuned in or just like fast forward into about 30 minutes <laughs> and saw me go, so you already pulled your shirt up, they're going to be like backing up, backing up, backing up. So, <laughs> I think it will be great in my office where it gets really cold. Mm -hmm. And mm, I thought it was going to be like more squirrel, wor wor uh, squirrel wings. Oh, yeah. You know, with the, all the, but it's not too bad. Yeah. I like it. It's comfy. I can wear it to day at Panera when it gets super cold there. Yes. And I wove in all the ends, but I haven't soaked it yet. I was gonna say because it looks a little, yeah. Um, just came off the needles. Yes. On the edges, but yeah. because I didn't think that it would dry in time because mm. of our high humidity. Yeah. But um, yeah, I wanted to nice. bring it. One of these days I, I really might make like one, it. but I would use two different colors. It it was it was rough. Like I was doing really <laughs> good. I am I am shocked I got this done. But once I got about a quarter left in it, I was just dying. <laughs> and then it was between this gray and my other gray project. So too much gray. I was so happy to cast on the blues and browns. Yeah. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, that's my one and only finished object. But um, I know last time we got, we left you guys with a lot of cliffhangers. Which we've already addressed a few. Yeah, we addressed a few. As we've been talking. Um, <laughs> we addressed my yarn, yes. the Moon Rover. Some of these, after we came back, were we like, couldn't. I don't know what we were talking and about. And that's, I watched the episode, because I was like, oh, we talked about all these cliffhangers last time, and we need to resolve them. And then I made notes <laughs> in a little Google Doc, and when I sent it to Sandy, Sandy's like, what? I was like, I don't know. I just yelled out, it's a cliffhanger, at some point during the episode, and wrote it down. I don't know why. Because it was too funny. Yeah. During the whole, you know, me just breaking down Discussion last Discussion of <laughs> bare friends. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if anybody uh, looks at our uh, blog, the day after Kelly found a <laughs> Muppet thing about best bear friends. Yes. And I was at work, and I just died. I People were coming over. Are if you, you also okay? follow our Twitter, I posted it there, too. So. <laughs> yes. It was, it was awesome. Yes. Um, well, you are the, not caught up on Undisclosed. I'm not. Yeah. I... I just couldn't do it. I was listening to my book and I got distracted. Yeah. So, um, and the last thing, the parallels between Guardians of the Galaxy and the Lord of the Rings, the trees. trees. Yes. So Groot and the Ents. And when I just like did a quick Google, people were like, "Yeah, they're the same thing," or, "Yeah, Groot is just the baby one." So, I don't know. At I least think I'm not, you need to contact Marvel and I know, ask them. I'm not the only person that saw the <laughs> correlation, so I'm happy with that. Yes. Except for the Ents could, you know, talk more than just I am five words. <laughs> yes. I am Groot. 
we are Groot, you are Groot. Yes. <laughs> that, that seems about right. Yeah, they actually, um, I have to, next time I'm in the comic book store, I have to look at this, because they have a new Groot comic book out, and it really makes me wonder if every page is just going to be like, someone, blah, 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 I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the whole comic book. Kind of like Hodor on yes. um, yeah, uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. Hodor. yeah. So I don't know. Um, next time I'm there, I'll have to see if I can look at one of them and be like, what is this? Is this just all every page, every panel? I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm addicted to BuzzFeed, and this is completely off of our notes because we decided to go off the notes. I know. Um, Kelly, did you see the. Um, Game of Thrones, what it would be if they put their profiles on a dating site? No. It was hilarious. They had, like, all the main characters, and they had Hodar. It was like, and Hodor, it was just like Hodor. everything. <laughs> What's your name? What house are you in? <laughs> what do you like to do? <laughs> it's like yeah. the easiest character to write for ever. Yes. <laughs> it, it George R.R. So Martin, it's like, writing all these, like, huge epic novels, and he's like, you know, I really need a break for a second. I know, let's throw H Hodor in this scene, and then all I have to write is Hodor, Hodor, Hodor. <laughs> That's why the books are so long. All that Hodor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that thing. But I'll have to show it to you later on. It was hilarious. Yes. As long as it doesn't spoil me, because I'm only on episode two of this season. I don't think it does. Okay. Because it talks about, like, you know, Prince slash King Joffrey. Oh. Okay. You know, what are his likes and dislikes? And he's like, I think one of his things was like, I really like, uh, um, wine. Or, um, Littlefinger. He really likes redheads. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It doesn't yeah. go into his life history. Yeah. Um, so I do not, uh catch up on Undisclosed. We didn't, I, I didn't do anything because I didn't, I did watch a movie last night. I watched, um, The Just Iron Giant. What movie did you watch? Because <laughs> this, this yeah. is how our notes were last time. <laughs> watched a movie last night and then it's like a big surprise. Yes. Yes. You watched The Iron Giant. Yeah. About yes, the right. giant cartoon robot thing. Yes. I've never seen that one. So, yeah, Josh was saying, we need to watch this, so, um, we watched it and it was like, guns are bad. And, Giant aliens are friendly. <laughs> yeah, it's the moral of the Iron Giants. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, guns are bad and don't be mean. Oh, okay. Don't fight. And I rewatched uh, um, Captain America: The First Avenger. Mm -hmm. I finished all of the Agent Carter series. Yes, because we are doing <laughs> our <laughs> epic Marvel watching of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well, you're doing it. I'm like, I'm going to do it, too. I'm doing it, and Sandy's going along. Um, <laughs> and I'm doing it because I, I, and I probably have said this in one of our previous episodes, um, how I mentioned to a coworker, I need to go see the new Avengers movie. And they're like, well, have you seen the previous one? And I said, well, no, but I have it. I have it on Blu-ray, and I still have to watch it. And they're like, well, have you seen both Captain America's? And I'm like, no. And they said, and both Thor, no. And all three Iron Man. And I said, well, I saw Iron Man 1. <laughs> so they said, well, no, you have to watch all of that before you can see it. So I said, okay, fine. So I thought, well, I have some time this summer. And um, there's a website that has, like, the list of the there's order. There's, like, 50 websites. There's, like, a whole bunch of websites yeah. that have the list. And some of them disagree about where you should watch certain things or whatever. So, um, and the order you need to watch them in. And so this week I watched um, Captain America, The First Avenger. And I watched the um, Agent Carter, the little one shot that was like 15 minutes. Um, yeah, I watched that and one too. Next on my list is to watch Agent Carter, the whole season, season one. one. Which so. I like Agent Carter. She seems really. I liked her in the in the movie. You know, I mean, that, but that Captain America. I don't know if it's maybe because I don't like Captain America that much. But it was kind of a long movie. I like Captain America. It was like, you know, you're an hour into it, you're like, come on, give him the serum already. <laughs> there was some build-up to it. There was a lot of build-up. Yes. Um, so anyway, so I watched that, um, and and I and I actually, because I went on the website, and then because you know I'm like a person who's like OCD and has to check things off and whatever, so I printed out a list. I made a did document. Really? I did. And I printed out a list of all the things I need to watch so I can check them off as I've watched them. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I don't have to keep going back to this website going, wow. wait, what am I supposed to watch next? So, yeah. I did not know that part. I did. <laughs> I'm surprised you just admitted that. I was going to say, like, are you surprised that I did something like that? No, but... Um, I was going to write it out, but I typed it up and printed it. And then, um, so, I, so I've checked off the first two things. So next I have to do Agent Carter, and then I think after that it's, like, part of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, possibly, and... Really? I thought it was Iron Man. I don't know. Maybe it's Iron Man. I don't know. See, I watched... (laughs) I'm not caught up, but um, I've been watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. before all this. But, like, this they tell you, like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you have to watch, like, Season 1 episodes this through this, and then you watch one of the movies, and then you watch episodes blah, 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 through whatever, like, the order that they're telling you to do it in. Yeah, so I'll be rewatching it. Well, I mean, just like on the list, I mean, hi, it has Daredevil season one on the list, so I that guess I'll not have to watch for that again. Way, way down. <laughs> you have like another two months. Oh my gosh, I know. Um, but I do have a lot of time off this summer, so I have more time to watch them. So maybe I'll get them done faster than. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to make it, though, to get to Avengers Age of Ultron in the movie theater. I think it'll be gone by the, the movie theater by the time it, I get to it on the list. It might be at, like, one of the... Ant-Man will probably ones. still be in the movie theaters, though. That's on the list. That's the last thing on the list. I just saw um, a trailer for that. Yes. Yeah. That was my first trailer for it. That Paul I Rudd is playing Ant-Man. The guy that's playing Ant-Man. He was in other stuff. Okay. <laughs> um, we'll IMDB yeah. it later. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, I finished my book that I was reading, the All the Light We Cannot See, um, and it was very good. I enjoyed it, and um, I don't really have a whole lot to say about it, because I don't want to like give away endings and stuff in case people do want to read it, but I mean, it was a very good book. Um, I, I don't know. What, what is the main gist of it? Well, it's the it's the one about World War II. I talked about it last week, it's, or two weeks ago, or whatever, and the... Um, World War Two, and there's the the German boy, and there's the French girl, and it talks about like there's like a chat. The chapters are like a couple pages long, and it's like chapter about the boy, chapter about the girl, and all this, and then eventually their paths cross. And when I say eventually, I mean eventually. Like it's like <laughs> 530 pages, and it's like page 430. <laughs> but I mean, but it was good. I mean, I enjoyed the whole thing. So I liked the the writing style, and the story was good too. So I finished that. Um, Oh, comic book wise, since that has become part of my review or whatever, I am currently reading Daredevil. Big surprise there. Because <laughs> um, I have to get through all my Daredevils and then I can actually get caught up on my Batgirls. Um, end of Days. <laughs> and this is about Daredevil dies. And oh, no. I know. <laughs> he is killed. And it is um, Ben Urich who is. A reporter and he's going through because there's a big mystery surrounding the death of Daredevil because he says something as he's dying and they're trying to figure out what it means and why he died so it's a very very dark dark one it's a well it's a Brian Michael Bendis and I think that his are a little darker but I haven't read a lot of his stuff but um anyway I am I don't know almost halfway through yeah it's about half (laughs) <laughs> so I'm reading that oh and I am also reading my new in the mail to me which is one of my other things that I got but I put it somewhere else in the list <laughs> my sci-fi magazine with Daredevil on it that's a British magazine because you know the guy that plays Daredevil is British so of course he's on the cover of the magazine when did you start getting a sci-fi magazine no I just I got it off of eBay Oh, Someone okay. on Instagram posted. I was like, "What? There's a magazine that has Daredevil in it. I have to have it." And um, <laughs> and I I got it on. No, I I bought it on um on eBay because they didn't. Ha- I looked in Barnes and Noble. They didn't have it. They had like British knitting magazines, but no like, you know, sci-fi hmm. whatever magazines. Um, how is your um Daredevil comic book podcast going? I don't listen to a Daredevil comic book podcast. Okay, there was a <laughs> comic book podcast that had. Oh, a I two finished hour... it finally, but that was like weeks ago. Well, what about the other one? Because you started listening to another one. Oh, I listened to the one where they review the show and they talk about all the things that like um, you missed, and so that's why I have to rewatch it. But you know, the whole show, but <laughs> the whole series, because they're like, did you notice this happened? And I talked about this a couple weeks ago too, but I finished that listening to that too. Okay, because well, I was listening to it in the car. Um, 
It was with the Irish people. The people that yes. were doing it were Irish. Yes. yes, I remember that. Yes. Well, I have, I don't know, if, I don't think this was last time, but I did start um, book two of Outlander, Dragonfly and Amber. I almost said Dragon and Amber. <laughs> Dragonfly and Amber. This is a Game of Thrones. Now, if it's a Dragonfly and Amber, can they use it <laughs> to, like, <laughs> recreate dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how you would get dinosaur DNA from the dragonfly that's an amber. Well, maybe it was, like, a vampire dragonfly <laughs> that bit a dinosaur and this had its blood like a ladybug, there. okay? <laughs> <laughs> and it, and it had... The dinosaur, the di the dinosaur DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic Park was on TV last night. I might have watched part of it. I was watching hockey. <laughs> um, but yeah, so far I'm only like two hours into it, and this is the one that I was starting like a while ago. Yes, that you were confused. And then I'm like, know. wait, yes. How did they time jump? So I'm, I'm still not at that point yet. I just, yeah, I'm not going to ruin any of it in case somebody hasn't read it because mm -hmm. they haven't got to it through the Outlander TV show either. Mm -hmm. And I caught up on that too. Yeah. So, um, oh, I started rewatching Psych with Josh. Oh yeah, you were, you were telling yes. me about that. You didn't tell our viewers, but no. you told me. No, this was just yes. a recent thing within the last, like, week. Because um, we've watched, uh, normally we watch series that's already happened. Mm -hmm. Like, Breaking Bad, we started, like, the week before the final episode <laughs> started. <laughs> so, everything was on Netflix by the time we got there. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we're... And how is he enjoying Psych? John loves Psych, but so, he hasn't watched all of it. Josh, I think it's up in the air. He, he thinks it's funny, but then he's not a big TV... Mm non-real -re stuff. He likes the History Channel, the yeah. Science Channel, and all the documentaries that's the History not Channel. on aliens. He likes, <laughs> he likes to watch all the ancient alien shows. We were at yeah. a restaurant on Friday night for one of our events, and they, I guess there were no sports on Friday night. Well, there were sports, but like, baseball, our, our team is playing on the West Coast, so their games aren't starting until like 10 o'clock at night our time. And, um... Yeah, and so there was, you know, and there was no, it was Friday, and there was no hockey game, there was, like, no other sports, so on all their little TVs in this restaurant, they had, like, they had golf on one of them, and then, um, they had some boxing thing on one of them, and the other, the other TVs had the History Channel Ancient Aliens on it, and I was like, it's really bad when you're in the, like, restaurant that has all the sporting events, and they're showing Ancient Aliens on the History Channel. Yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, he's, he's liking it because there's not a laugh track. Mm -hmm. But he's like, that will never happen. They would never get away with that. I'm like, Josh, it's a TV show. He's Josh like, but it's no not real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it, it's kind of interesting. That's all I can say about it. But he, he, he'll, he'll say, hey, let's watch another one of your little shows. So... <laughs> Well, I, think I was wondering how he would what he would think about it because it doesn't seem like his type of thing. No, it really isn't. But like he, some of the references he does. Laugh oh yeah, and they do. Have, at. They do have a lot of like pop culture references. Yes, it's not like so much of the newer stuff, but some of the yeah older. They talk about a lot of like stuff from the eighties. Yes, which is why my friends at work told me I needed to watch it because they were like, not not because I'm old. But they were like, no, you should watch this, because they talk about a lot of stuff from the 80s, and it's really cool, and it's pop culture and all that. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I watched yes. it, and I liked it. And we've been looking for the pineapple in every episode. Yes. Yes. The pineapple in every episode. That is hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, that's more, I think, of a first couple of season thing. I don't remember if they continued that through the whole series. Yeah, I don't remember. I think I if, if they did, it was, like, very, very obscure stuff. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes it'll be, like, a... Uh, magnet, that's a pineapple. Well, and there was, like, a website, I think, at one point out there where they list every episode and where the pineapple is to find it. Oh. Yeah. I never went that in-depth, so. Yeah. I think it was because the first few episodes, I was like, what's up with the pineapples? So <laughs> I did a Google search, like, why? And they were like, oh, here's a list of all of the... Because pineapples are awesome. Yeah, but... 
Yeah. Oh, I was speaking of pineapples. <laughs> so I was talking to, with my mother the other day and on the phone, and she was asking me if I enjoyed fresh pineapples, and I told her my sad tale about what happens when I eat fresh pineapples and my tongue gets all raw and whatever. And uh, she said that she had a neighbor and they had a fresh pineapple, and that the trick to eating a pine or cooking cutting a pineapple, cutting a pineapple, if you're going to go the fresh route, is to have it for about half an hour you need to leave it so like you know like there's a pineapple and there's all the green stuff up here well you need to like turn it upside down for like half an hour and then all of the sugars and the juices go back into the pineapple like into the leafy fruit bits. part that you eat not the leafy bits but the part that you eat it gets because usually they're sitting there and all the leafy, leafy stuff is up here and all the juices and whatever, I guess, are at the bottom. So if you turn it upside down for like half an hour, then it goes back in and gets re rejuicified. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and she said that it was the best, most juicy, most sweet pineapple she'd ever had in their entire life. Well, so that's just like a tip for pineapple. you guys to try to have your pineapple hanging upside down for half an hour before you cut it. Next time I get a pineapple, I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to let me know how it goes. Yes. So. And then rub it in your face that you can't eat pineapple. I can eat canned pineapple and no, grilled but... pineapple. So if it was like fresh and then I grilled it, I could do it. But grilled pineapple is really good. It really is. We've done kebabs with grilled pineapple. Mm -hmm. Put a teriyaki sauce on it and grill it. Oh, so good. Yep. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting hungry. Well, it is about time for us to go. So. Yeah. <laughs> under an hour. We're under. Okay. <laughs> under an hour. Um, anyway, oh, and I did the ending. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so thank you for joining us yet again and our, you know, crazy awkwardness. <laughs> um, you can find us on Twitter, which I mentioned earlier, but we're on um, Two Crafty Stitches on Twitter, and we have a Ravelry group, which we have a few new members um, within the past couple of days, and we need to be more active in our group. Um, but I have a little more time now, so yay. Um, and then we are each individually on Instagram as Knits and Bits and Pearly Girl 75 And you can find our blog at WordPress. Well, no, it's at twocraftystitches.wordpress.com. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yes, we'll have you have the thing about the Ravel there. Group on there twice, so that's yeah. awesome. Um, <laughs> I was about to, to read off on our notes, and I was like, I already said that. So anyway... <laughs> Um, show yes, notes. show notes are on the blog on our website, and which I already said, but I'll tell you again. It's twocraftystitches.wordpress.com. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. I, think I think so. <laughs> that has to be it. <laughs> well, thank you guys very much for joining us. Yes. Um, happy crafting. <laughs> Bye.